us and if, I think if you listen to us we a majority of it has been a, a lot of the same things I think we're all looking at the same aspect of doing what's best for King County one of the things that I uh, was starting to put down because I didn't actually uh, write a closing art, uh, speech I just decided to wing it as we went on but uh, I've said uh, last week in a, uh, a meeting I had that I would like to see the one cent tax increase of 2010 be returned back to the citizens of King County, and I really believe that should go back. I know it possibly uh, going to be hard to justify with the budget, but it's something that I would definitely want to look into and consider. I want to continue with the uh, way that the board of has worked with the Board of Education to improve the education aspects for our uh, students here in the county. Um, one of my uh, biggest things is making us proud to be in Kent County and I think our school system is starting to move in that direction that people are going to be proud to have uh, our kids in the, uh, the school system. And one thing that I haven't been said tonight that uh, Mr. Coriel did say and I'm going to echo his sentiments is I believe that we need to have a separate tourism and economic development uh, organization. I believe that with a dedicated economic development person that will help us with our uh, issues with economic in the county. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Mr. Short, um, since that's been touched on twice and I will start this remarks with this. Uh, the reason we don't have an uh, economic uh, uh, leader in, in the county, we took it upon ourselves to bring it back in the commissioner's office so we could monitor that one year uh, to see what the prospects are out there. The, the, the system that was set forward uh, really required internet to be a big part of that plan. Well, guess what? We don't have internet yet to the sustainable part of really being able to reach out to businesses. So until we have that in this next, in this next year, I, I absolutely support an economic development uh, office, but we're monitoring it. And, and up till now, according to last week's meeting, we've had three, three phone calls since July. So we're, we're going to do our due diligence and we're going to bring that to light, but it's a step first internet then we go after the business we bring that team here we make that two hundred and some thousand dollars that was proposed to spend down the line instead of putting that on the taxpayers this year we just thought about it we, we worked through the process three years of proven leadership that's why i'm asking to, to for you guys to elect me um seven million dollars of debt reduction in kent county that's why i'm asking you to re-elect me uh, 15 percent reduction to water and sewer rates unheard of in kent county we as a board have done that in these last two years. These are big, these are big things that help the, the taxpayers of all, all ranges throughout the county. Reduction in property taxes, absolutely, when that time comes. But right now, we're paying down debt so you don't have to be asked again for that increase. Uh, we don't dictate what the hard times will be tomorrow. We don't know what they are. They may get hard again, but for right now, we're, we're, we're balanced and we're working this out and we're doing our due diligence to make sure that you guys are happy and pleased with us. 400 High Street is open every single week at six o'clock, Tuesday evenings. You guys can come in there and vent, say what you need to say, request out of us what you need to request, and we will take it to full heart because we work for you. Thank you. Mr. Coriel. Thank you. Uh, I also want to thank again the League of Women Voters for having this forum. And I want to quote uh, George Bernard Shaw here for a moment. He once said, progress is impossible without change. And those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. Throughout my career of 44 years in public service, um, I learned to make decisions in an environment of frequent change and to place the needs of the people I served first, uh, always with a philosophy of service before self and commitment to excellence in everything that we do for the people we serve. I also believe that personal values like honor, integrity, fairness, justice, and equal opportunity for all uh, set the direction for decision making and set the standards for appropriate individual behavior and accountability. I believe Americans' values should be preserved. Our national strength 
and our pride while working to extend the peace, freedom, and human rights throughout the world. We are a wonderful nation, we are a beautiful community, and I seek your support in serving you further in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Pickford. Yeah, and I thank the league for, for this forum, forum and the citizens of Kent County for electing me to serve as your county commissioner. I have strived to be of service to the citizens of, the, of Kent County. My extensive experience in many fields make me uh, very qualified to be your county commissioner. My knowledge of finances, financial systems, uh, technology, organizations, and above all, good leadership is what I bring to the table. Uh, we must embrace the future and with his technological advances, while caring for those who are less fortunate. We must give our youth the same or better opportunities as those in other communities. We are an aging community. No one should be left behind. I will vigorously strive to keep King County moving forward, bringing us all along. We should develop a strategic plan for Kent County to give a guide to what Kent County should be 50, 75, 100 years from now designed and developed by the citizens. This would be a living and flexible plan. I want to expand our youth employment program to make, give our youth marketable skills. We have to develop a, a robust universal internet access, and that's a must. As commercial providers selectively provide internet service, which that should not deter us uh, from getting this valuable and necessary service to all that desire it. I ask all of you to vote, encourage your friends to go out and vote regardless of your political persuasion. Go out and vote and be heard, and most of all, pick Pickram. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fithian. Well, <clears throat> I, first of all, as I pointed out earlier, I've been your commissioner for 16 years, just finishing my 16th year. Obviously, I enjoy the job. I feel qualified to continue on with the job. You know, when I look, we, we all have, we all sit around from time to time and we're, you know, I think that's what makes us strong is that we can always find some fault here or there. But when you look around Kent County, I don't know, I, I don't know whether you people feel like I do, but I feel like I'm one of the luckiest pe people in the world that I've had an opportunity to spend 63 years, almost 64 in the most beautiful part of the world. I don't think you can find a better place to live than Kent County. Um, you know, you like to think that maybe as a commissioner you've had a little bit to do with it. Um, so, you know, being a commissioner is like, it's a fine balance. We like to try to provide as many services as we can to the public without strapping everybody financially. And I, when I look around Kent County at what we have to offer in this little county, I, I think we've done a pretty good job. So I'm gonna be very short and just say, thank you all for coming. You're the heart of Kent County. You're what makes it tick. Um, I love working with you and I ask for your support again on November 4th. Thank you very much.